Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Epic Thunder here, bringing you the third episode of my funny Black Ops 2 Emblems tutorial series. And as you can see, this is a red bar connection. Now this joke emblem thing here is especially close to me because I have awful internet. And this is basically for all of us poor internet users out there. And it's actually one of the easiest emblems that I have made to date because it's just shapes and two letters. You just gotta get this r rounded rectangle thing, well, rounded square, and then make it into a rectangle. Have it be a white background, make it a, however big you want it to be. And then we're gonna duplicate it, turn it black, shrink it so that we have that nice white outline. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab the uh, lieutenant emblem, and we're just gonna make some bars. That's, <laughs> that's about it. We're just going to make these bars, we're going to make them a shade of gray, one of the 50 shades of gray. Actually, that one's a little too dark. I want to choose something a little bit brighter. We're just going to duplicate, make it smaller. But as you notice, like, you have to free transform and make these things fatter so that they don't look bad. You want them to still be the same distance wide. Like, they, you want them to be shorter, but not, like, thinner. You, you got me? Like, they look weird whenever they get thinner, and they look wrong. So... You gotta kind of make sure that you get the uh, fatness of them to be the same, but the height to go down each time. And there's a little red box, the uh, epitome of all evil, is lag. Um, we're just going to resize these here so that they kind of fit with each other a little bit better. And you know what, we're going to I'm gonna move this up actually to uh, this little grid line here, that way... Uh, all these emblems are the same exact uh, d distance from the bottom. That way they're all even and everything and looks all pretty. You got a part of mouth right there. Alright, now, final touches is you just, you could leave it like this, but uh, I like to add me in there. Just so that you understand that I'm talking about my internet connection and how bad it is. So you're describing an M and an E, you're making them a little bit fatter so that way they are a little bit more legible whenever you shrink them down. And you put them in there, and that's it. There's the emblem. It's as simple as that. It's not a hard emblem at all. And now we're just going to take another look at it. If the emblems ever load, do 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 do. Oh, there we go. And that's the final product. Just a simple little connection status thing. And I'm just going to delete this one because I only need one. There can only be one. But uh. That's all that I have about this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for future emblems, and you know, drop down in the comment section below. Uh, talk about anything else. Like the video. Like it. Favorite. All that type of stuff. And as you can see on the screen is a link to a previous on tutorial video where I basically showed how to do like a really cool shading gradient kind of effect. It's that's really cool for doing these emblems, and I'm definitely going to use a couple more of these types of things in the future. Go check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Epic Thunder rolling out.